I'll go and get sneakers. I really want it. No, don't do it. I'll go to the bar and get one. No, no. But I really want sneakers. No, no. 35. What? You can't give me 35 songs? 25. You can't give me 25 songs? I can count, and I know the prices, but that's just 25 songs. No, and no again. You ate sneakers yesterday. Go and get one. How is it called? And eat it. I'll go and borrow. No, don't do that. I really want sneakers, and that's it. If you really want a piece, cut this. How is it? If you can't spare 25 songs, just say it. Come on. Every day. Every day. I won't get anything tomorrow. Don't even do it. I'll go and get one. Misha! Why eat in my pee? There's so ones for me. Let him eat it. You can spear it, can you? I have no teeth. They change so ones to soft, especially for me. He's your dad. He's mad and he wants it too. He's greedy. He doesn't even give me 35 sums to buy sneakers. Pensioner, I used to spend half a million dollars a month. We spend it to drugs. These poor 35 sums, and for him it is money. They mean money for him. I said, so you found money back then? Well, sure, easily, if I quit today. Now you find money for your sneakers? I used to sleep. I used to steal. Don't push on him. I'll get my pension as I come back. I'll have 30,000 on my account. I'll get my credit card as I come back. 15,000 a month I'll have for two months. I'll give his 35 sums. Ask him, who's changed his teeth? Who paid for his teeth? You have all arrived here with your close ones that have addictions, some chemically active elements with narcotic effect, influencing their organisms. You're our main assistants. I'd like to say a few words before asking you a question. As soon as he started using drugs, my private life came to an end. Right. It started to exist, not live. Yeah, every one of us has experienced it. And every one of us can prove it, right? And before it started, you dedicated your life to him with love. By the way, and this is it. This is the result you get. And I'm guilty at the first. I'm the one guilty. I don't have any guilt. But I feel shameful saying it rude. My mom and sister don't know about my husband Andrei being addicted. You have come with your husband, yeah? You love him and believe him? Do you want to change the situation? For sure. Do you care about what your girlfriends and others say? Actually, no, I don't. I think you don't care too, because to say the truth, they don't care about you too. I guess they have problems too. Well, let's go and have some work. Drink all the pills and go for a walk. Yeah, yeah. I'll kiss the Tsar on his hands. Come on, Tsar. You Tsar. Oh, Tsar. I was helpless half a month ago, helpless but mean. I think it's cold there. One can feel it. Yeah, cool. Wait, Simon, it will really get cold. Especially in the morning when you wake up. Oh, fuck. Go and ask him. Give me money. Who told that? I have the same. I said, give me money. <laughs> I'm like, in the morning I wake up and start it. My mom understands what's going on and uh, she, she's gone away. I'm like, come to Olga and say, honey, give me some. And she's like, hey, fuck you. And it starts here and I go and look for my mom, my advocate. When we come home, I'll talk to you. I will recall everything. I started to spend my money, I hide my cards in the basement. I ask him where is the cards, he's like, there is in the bag, on the bike. I'm like, I must go and check it. I check it and don't find it. And I'm like, what the 
I was so fast, I couldn't recall the spots. I used to hide my cell phone and cards. First, when I learned about it, the life divided into before and after, when I understood that it's like this. Yeah, yeah. What I felt, it was shame. You have to call and solve your problems, that's shameful. One can hide it because it burns you from within. Yeah, one can see it on your face. How can you hide when others already know about it? What do they know? And others don't tell it to you before you don't face it with it. That's really scary. And we've seen them in different conditions. Coma or blockade hasn't shocked me at all. I saw him in more horrifying conditions. Here in the end, justify the means. Back there, it was foggy. I won't betray you anymore. What? I won't betray you anymore. I must work and work out more. I feel I must work out more. The algorithm is like algorithm and you need more um, weighing everything. And at least I started to get the point that I never understand it all. I mean, no matter when I was high or injected, what's the difference? I had heavy addictions even when I had high. There was only one thought all this time. It really made me feel depressed. You witnessed that if I don't eject and start to drink, you witnessed that, right? So everything's going to be all right. What's your impression, Ala? After the blockade, I have noticed one thing. Every patient's face was enlightened. Not only Alex, his eyes have become different, thoughtful. When they all come here, their faces were different, preoccupied with withdrawals. Many of you here. Oh dear, Alex. Is it okay if I wear goggles? I mean, the windows are open and it hurts my eyes. It's okay. I sit down. Oh, it's your appetite. Perfect. I eat, eat and eat. And your dream? Uh, not really good. I woke at five in the morning yesterday and today I've woken up at four. But I don't go and ask for uh, sleeping pills. I try to sleep myself. To sleep? To overcome. Not to use sleeping pills. You wake at four in the morning, don't have any, any anxiety, irritability, dissatisfaction, weakness? Maybe because of anxiety and irritability it takes place. I walk to and fro in the corridor, I just can't lie in the bed. You can. When you get to the second floor, how many stops you have? I want to run, really run sometimes. So you run the any chest foundering? A little. A little. I really want to take the cathedral off. Push up? Yeah, I like it all. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Please take a seat. Big Aids. Big Aids. 
our greetings, Victor. Please take a seat there. We'll just stand. Yeah, I'd better start with Cathedral. They've put it in, started to give some pills, some IV lines. Well, no pains in the beginning, but anyway, I had pains in the mornings. So after the second blockade, I had the same problems with my nose, these pains in my leg. So I go outside, smoke, and I feel like I needed something. I need it. And I haven't felt for a long time. How do you think? Do you have power of will? 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 Of course. I have it. If you say walk to Germany, I'll do it for sure. Up to Germany? <laughs> yeah, if it makes sense. If it makes sense. Everything is okay. Everything is good. But I got used to punctuality. You said at half past ten. And what time have you come today? Half past twelve. <laughs> no gift on here? I've been waiting for two hours. Well, excuse us. Any blockades to come? It's up to commission. We'll discuss it and tell you. How do you think? Do you need more blockades? Or again, it's up to us, the doctors? Uh, like it's up to you? No, you are the expert, so it's up to you. An internal need? Okay, thank you. Get well, we'll give two hours in the evening. Thanks for coming. It really pisses me off when they say that my husband is junky. That really pisses me off. He won't help you. What's the point? No. He won't help you. I'm telling you. No, no. Ah, for God's sake. I wish you were right. It's really tough. Take it with you, take it. He cursed himself already. Believe. Given that he has not 20 anymore. Hello. You're in the mood, smiling, glad to see that. An anxiety, any trouble of going back home to meet your old friends? They're like, you know what I mean. Well, of course I have. You have? I feel everything is going to be okay. Uh, no, except this, I think, and there is nothing affirmative, there is nothing specific. So let us model the situation. You come back home, everything reminds you of your past, someone's called you and come. I'll change my number. No, I'm not saying that someone will call you, someone knocked on your door and you let him in? I think I won't live there where I used to, so I decided it when today I've talked to my psychologist, I'll go to my grandma's, I won't even stop in the street, I won't even greet anymore. Why? What for? What have they done to you bad? What for? They are not my friends, nobody, I have nothing in common with them. Then why to talk to them? Maybe they will ask you to do something? Whatever, I will say first that I don't want to talk to them or have relationships. So you feel confidence you can say this? Yeah. Anyway, there will be a moment when you will face problem on your own, face to face with your stress. I think there's nothing I can afraid of. You have daughter that you have to take and bring her up, right? I think about her every given day. I'm happy about your dynamics. You slept well. She's smiling. <laughs> well, I think uh, first we need to consult with the professor. Get well. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it like this. Thank you. Thank you. So it happened, right? Well, first rhyme, second, and I see it works. Well, then read your poem. Well, I think it's primitive, too simple. Come on, read it. I was walking on my own. Cops are also coming on. I'm like, that's a dream, but the nightmare's going on. I'm saying it's the medicine. Bite me, baby, Catherine. I'm like, that's it, enough. I'm about to join the project, and cops are bullying me in cuffs. Eight more years for the convict. Cops are like, what's up? You've been cured, motherfucker. I don't want to be burned out. I'm gonna go to MCN rehab. I wake up. Oops, I'm here. 
happiness, there is my idea. I'm not dreaming of nightmares, no more tripping that does scare. If I could forget the shit, I'd start a new life. That's it. Well, that's really cool. 